He's Chris Barnett. Let's go to him right now. There he is. What's up, Chris? Ooh, I like the setup you got here. Hey. Hey, oh, no, don't mind that. That's my little my little Twitch, my little Twitch thing I'm trying to do now, now these days. Look, I didn't know whether or not to, like me personally, I love my black eye, but I didn't know if the, you know, the viewers wanted to see it, but how do you, how, how would you? I want to see it. I want to see it. Be proud of glasses it. Or no? no glasses. Okay. He wants it off, then they're off, baby. Oh, yeah. yeah wow. Yeah, baby. <laughs> how are you feeling? Man, Amazing. Like a million bucks, dude. Uh, I feel feel great. Super fantastic. I'm here. I'm here with you. Actually, let me turn this down. This is super bright. There we go. There oh, yeah. we go. There we go. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. I feel good, man. Thanks for having me, sir. It's good to have you back on. Uh, did you? What kind of injury did you suffer there in your eye, or around your eye? Uh, just, uh, just, the, um, just. Um, he caught me with that. I think it was like that. That first lunging right uh and, and split it um and it's a small one i've got like that one and then i don't know if you can see oh that. yeah damn oh there Whoa. yeah i got that one in uh in korea so this one is that's a baby compared to that one by the end of everything i'm gonna look like uh what is it t2 from terminator yeah i have that robot eye over there on that side so. stitches so, yeah no Th this one's uh yeah just uh what was it 11 uh, five are gonna dissolve, and then in five days I have to go get the other ones out. And by the way, I know you went to the hospital. We just showed the clip uh, you posted on your Instagram. They left you stranded there. No one picked you up. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Oh no! I feel so bad. I hope I didn't get nobody. No, this is okay. Me, I'm goofy. Anyway, a video was gonna happen regardless after the fight, so it just happened to be that we. Big, big miscommunication. All that was literally was like, we ended up being on the wrong side anyways of oh, it. Oh, jeez. But I was outside anyways, and I was like, hey, hang on. <laughs> What's going on out here? But no, like, they they have never, never, they never <laughs> did that. It, it Honestly, the way the video came out, and then, like, the whole Johnny Walker thing happened, and I was yes. like, oh, God. <laughs> yes. That's what we were just oh, talking like, somebody's about. Somebody's getting in trouble. But no, 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 no. That was just literally, like, it was a whole, my team couldn't go technically because this service was supposed to come pick us up, but the service heard this and that. So it was just a whole, I made it back. How about that? How about okay. that? We made it back. Me and Jake Collier, we, uh, we drank and watched the rest of the fight together at the, uh, wow. Hotel. You were both at the, at, at the, the hospital. The, yeah. yeah well, no, 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 not at the hospital. He, <laughs> he went back to the hotel. I went to the hospital. Oh. Then went back to the, uh, to the hotel and, uh, he ended up being at um where we go? We went to Coyote Ugly inside of New York, New York, and um we were just in there, literally chilling, watching the rest of the fights. You know, you and Jake. It was amazing. Yeah, yeah. There's a picture of I put a picture up of uh, me and him actually just in there, dude. And I, that's why I like the the picture says I love this sport, and like you know that's one reason why I love it, dude. Like we literally just you know <laughs> traded blow for blow, went back and forth, you know for for what all of seven minutes or whatever and here we are together in the club i'm in there with his team my team's with his team and like you would have never known we fought each other that night you would have thought me and him got in a fight somewhere else beat some guys up and now we're celebrating that's the way it looked did you plan that or was it just coincidence that you were both there yeah coincidence like um wow by the time i left the hospital by the time the ufc got me back to the hotel uh, <laughs> oh, you're a good <laughs> By the time I got back to the hotel, uh, I went upstairs, I changed, and then um, my uh, my team texted me, uh, Scott and Todd, uh, Todd Duffy, actually. Uh, wait, before I jump forward, how do you feel about Todd Duffy uh, returning, sir? Huh? Oh, is he returning? Hey, look, I'm telling you right now, this is my little shameless plug for my man Todd. He is back 100%, like, full-on, like, Todd Duffy, Duffman, let's wow. go. Yeah. Time for who? To knock down some towers type stuff. For who? Who's he uh, fighting I, for? I, I, we, that's what I need to, I don't know. I don't know. We. I need to get my man out here. I need to get him back, you know, doing it or whatever. But Let's but go, yeah, Todd. Like, but, okay. Sorry. Not to bring Todd up. But yeah, so they all messaged me. They all just happened to be in Coyote Ugly and they were like, yo, hey, uh, we're here. And guess who's here? And I was like, who? They go, Jake. And I was like, uh, how is he? <laughs> they go, uh, oh, he's good, man. He's good. No, he's waiting on you, actually. He's got a lot to tell you. And I was like, 
okay so we show up and like literally we're literally it's a fan of a fan like he he's telling tell me about yeah so you pictures you and your kids dude and i was like yeah i know you and your three sons like yo y'all go do the car stuff and he's we're going back and forth about how we've like literally stalked each other i guess technically you know wow he brings up fights before ufc before before japan he's like i remember xfc you fucking hit garden you did this and i was like oh my gosh i remember when you were 185 like you know what I mean? like so we're just <laughs> we're just going back and forth dude having like honestly just just a, a a great time you know people running up taking pictures with us and whatnot like you know what i mean like that like the true definition of, of martial arts you know what i mean and, like that that respect aspect that happened there was just beautiful so um, I want to ask you about the fight, obviously, but let's talk before the fight. Unfortunately, you missed weight. What happened there? And I, and I don't know if any heavyweight has ever missed by this much. I think you made history on uh, on Friday. So congratulations. No, I think me and Tafa were the second. Don't you do that. Yeah, I saw a little tweet that said, I, I don't care when he comes in. At. Yeah. I was like, all right, Ariel. <laughs> Man, you're the best. I, you could, as far as I'm concerned, okay, so, you can weigh 315 if you ask me. I mean, it's such a pleasure to watch you fight. That to me. Okay. Uh, you, you want me to die, sir? <laughs> no, 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 no. no uh, what happened? So what happened? We're, we're we're getting the weight off, you know what I mean? And normally, like, I cut the last two, three, whatever in the on um, cut day anyways, you know, normally early. Um, but this time we have the PI, you know what I mean? The PI is the perfect place to cut, you know, anything. So we go, we start the cut, and it gets to the point to where – they're like, hey, you have to be here to at least get some kind of weight. And we're like, all right, cool. We show up. I know I'm a pound over. I'm a pound and a half over. I'm I'm literally, I'm walking in. I'm still sweating. I'm dripping. And I'm like, and they're like, wipe off before you go up there. I was like, no, you know, I get, I get this hour after the cut. You know what I mean? And literally an hour for a pound and a half, my size, regardless. But let's rewind all of that. I shouldn't have showed up anyways. No, at the end of the day, that's all on me. I shouldn't even have shown up that heavy, you know, to begin with. I did more lifting than I wanted to this camp, just in case I'm a big, big dude. But, uh, but like, regardless of the fact, I take full, like, full responsibility for that. That that's not me. Like, you know what I mean? I've, I've what weighed in three times under the weight and everything. This weight cut went a little different because this camp went so well. Like, I've never had a camp this good you know what i mean like as far as me uh jumping with uh lehman brothers but anyways regardless of the fact i should have came in under regardless there's there's so much weight to be lost here anyways th that's there's no excuse at all so we get to the the doctor and he's like okay let me check your standing your standing uh heart rate or whatever right he takes it he's like oh my god it's high and i was like dude you got to understand if I tie my shoes wrong, my resting heart rate is going to be up. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I'll, I'll freak out, you know? So he, he, he's looking at me. He's like, oh, your body's hot. You're this, you're that. Uh, no, no, no. I don't want you to cut this pound. I'm telling you right now, word for word, word for word. Now he goes, if I were to let you cut this pound and a half, I'm damning you to lose tomorrow. And I was like, geez. <laughs> he's like whoa <laughs> hang on man like is it that serious right now you know so he's he's frantic i'm frantic uh scott uh my coach manager he's frantic he's like what do you mean our, our rest of heart rate's gonna be high anyways because we're big and they're going at it and he goes watch this watch this he's supposed to be resting for five minutes I watch this i bet i go over there and his rate's gonna be higher than what it was of course, he goes back over, and it is. It's higher than what it was the, the second time. And so he goes, go. He goes, no, you can fight tomorrow, but you're not cutting this pound and a half. I'm still sweating as I'm talking to this guy. Oh. So I have the little hat thing on, and I have my little draws thing on. And uh, uh, funny, Carl uh, Carl Williams, the guy who just won the uh, the contender contest, he was like, man, them draws were at least a pound and a half. <laughs> oh, man. And the thing is, he was probably right, because I was – on the way to the uh, to the apex to weigh in, I'm still sweating. I'm literally still sweating. But that doctor was like, no, you're done. I'm telling you right now, you don't need to go out there and do this because if you go out there, you won't be able to compete tomorrow. And I know you're going to lose if you. And I was like, oh, God. Oh, well, 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 geez, you know, and then this was his line. This was his favorite line was I've been doing this since the Gracie's. And I was like, well, he's got to be. Yeah, clearly, clearly. I can't say nothing to that. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, man, with that. No excuse at all. Like I could have easily got it off with that hour that I was I thought we were gonna get because even at the PI, they were telling us they were like, dude, hey, just you know, go over there, get your weight before they before you can't fight at all. Right. Because like it was like there was a time thing, you know, yeah. 10 o'clock, they cut it off at eleven. Um, like, so go over there, 
get it, you know, get your weight in, whatever. Just go back, make the weight, blah, blah, blah. We'll be good. They wouldn't let me go back, or I ain't gonna say they. That doctor wouldn't let me go back, you know, make the weight, you know. So, again, zero excuses. That's on me. I'll tell you what, it will never happen again. I can I can promise you that. I, okay. I can promise you that. It will <laughs> never happen again. And how much do you have to give up? 20%? Yeah, twenty percent of it. Ah, that so, sucks. I man. mean, and then to, doesn't that hurt? To a guy like Jake, uh, no, to a guy like Jake, ah, whatever. You know what I mean? Like we probably would have worked it out in the casino somehow, anyways. <sighs> something like that, anyways. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jake's a good dude, man. Like, yeah, like just his whole overall thing, like him, him as a as a father and everything, man. Like the fact that he's not. It, it, if we were the same person, it'd be like parallel universes, like literally, because he's off of social media. I'm on social media. But mm-hmm. when it comes to the, to the boiled down thing of like what we are overall as like beautiful humans, we both share that so much. Amen. Uh, now, could I ask you about that first round? It got a little dicey there in that first round. How close were you to being out? How close do you think the fight was to being stopped? Uh, when he took my back, now that I go back and watch the fight, I was like, I was like, okay, let's see. Boom. Oh, big shot. Okay. Ah, that's that one I feel right there. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. And then uh, once I heard the ref go, Chris, you got to do something. And that's when you see me. Okay. Well, shoot. And he spins, but he forgot. I don't have a neck. I don't have a neck. So he mm-hmm. went too high. And I was like, yes, I'm good. Cause I could breathe through my nose and everything. Cause that hot, hot, dry Vegas air out there cleared everything for me, apparently. Uh, then, then uh, what uh, what was it? I think his name Mark Marcus. I think was, Marcus was our ref, right? I think. Oh, I don't remember. Uh, he came by and I gave him the old WWE thumbs up when he, you know, when he grabbed me. And I was like, no, I'm good. We're good down here. And I heard Jake's breathing. Like I felt he overexerted during that. Like our, I don't want to say exchanges because he definitely those were his exchanges. Yeah, <laughs> had exchanges. Um, he he, I could hear him down there, and I was like. Uh-oh. Uh oh! I thought you were supposed to be Mr. Cardio. Yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> so just weathering that storm, you know. Not to say I Homer Simpson did, but you know, I was out there. No, <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> those two times he definitely dropped me, you know, with the with those uh with those punches. But um, but yeah, man, just uh that first round. Uh, I was worried because that was the same doctor, the doctor that came. Oh in. my god, really? <laughs> oh my god. Could you imagine? I was like, no, <laughs> oh, not you again. <laughs> that is <You> know? amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he looked at me and I was like, he goes, look left, look right. And I remember when I fought Boudet and that doctor, he goes, look up, look left. And look right. I was like, oh, all right, look here, Doctor Strange. Stop making you trying to make a you trying, you trying to make a portal over here. You know what I mean? So I knew I was like, just follow his fingers, and you can't mess up, Chris. So I, I just kept following his fingers, and then he looked at me. He goes, "Are you good?" I was like, "Yeah, man, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good." And uh, and wait, I know everybody's gonna ask. It wasn't a stroke, people. Okay, Jake had caught me in my jaw, and like literally a chunk of my jaw from the inside was was just dangling in my mouth. So watch, when I go to bite this, watch what my left side does. And that's what was going on with the left side of my face. It what? Wasn't crazy. You're kidding me. Yeah, like there was a chunk of my jaw, like the inside of your mouth, Yeah. like just dangling. And I couldn't bite it because, you know, it was like taking a, a, a butter knife and trying to cut through steak with the mouthpiece in, trying to get this chunk of my jaw that was out or dangling. Like, I guess I bit down on, one of those punches he threw, I bit down too hard and bit a chunk there. So when I was doing <laughs> this, oh my, uh, what? that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get that chunk of my, oh. out of my jaw gone. When you say yeah, jaw, do you mean like, your cheek? Yeah, I keep saying, yeah, my cheek. Okay. Uh, I was like, down what? Here, your cheek. Yeah, my, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> yeah, no, my whole jaw had dislocated. Yeah, I was like, no, what are you talking about, cheek. man? <laughs> oh, how does that feel now? That's kind of annoying, no? No, the... The way the mouth heals, like the inside of the mouth, is weird. It is weird. It's honestly, like, I couldn't even show you the piece. You'd be like, yeah, whatever. You had a stroke. Like, you know, like. Yeah, it looked like your jaw was, like, dislocated or something. No, no. I just kept, I literally was just trying to, I was like, uh, uh, trying to just get it off. And I couldn't because of the mouthpiece. Like, I should have just took the mouthpiece off and bit it out or whatever. But, uh, but yes, my cheek. Okay. Can I ask you something? You get the. was. You get the big win, you get the comeback, it's great. You do the flip, and you don't just do like your typical flip, you land on your butt. Doesn't that hurt your butt? No, the cage is not 
it's not concrete. Like, you know what I mean? It's not grass. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's 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 cushioned. Like, you know what I mean? I know some of those slams, you see people get knocked out from the slams and whatnot. That just lets you know how strong some of these guys will take them and knock you down, you know? Right. Um, it's not uh it's the cage isn't that hard and then on top of that i got a i got a little donkey back here man shoot i gotta make the stallion back here you know so like i'm not <laughs> I, i'm not no little but you're landing like here. straight on it uh, like but uh yeah nah man that, that's dude that i i have a move they call uh spank the baby that i used to do at the swim pool to where i would like literally jump up land on my butt and do a flip into the pool like off of my butt you know into the water you know so yeah, no, no, man. I've been, I've been getting whoopings and everything else with this. We're good back there. It's cast iron. <laughs> was that one of the most gratifying wins of your career, considering how the first round went for you to come back? And I know disappointing. Your last fight against Martin Boudet was disappointing. Like to come back and 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 everything that happened on Friday to 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 regroup and get the comeback when you were a massive underdog. We were just talking about this before you came on. This has to be one of the most gratifying wins of your career, no? Yeah, well, uh, you know what's crazy? Um, I wanna uh, before even five days before the fight, I totaled I totaled my car. Like a uh. deer jumps out, airbags go off. I'm Whoa. they're like and, as they go off and whatnot. And I sent it to management. I was like, y'all been not saying nothing. I'm fine. We still this fight is still going on. And they're like, Are you sure? And I was like, No, nah, I'm good, dude. Like after what happened from that previous camp, they're like nothing. Nothing couldn't trust me. I, a plane could have like hit me, and I was like, "Ah, we're good. Let's keep it moving," you know. So, like going into this, even from Friday, even from everything, yeah, man. Like it was good to me, also because I personally feel he beat Arlowski. You know what I mean? Like um, with with that with that whole thing leading into it, like that was that was one fight I watched a lot. Was watching him fight Arlowski. Like one thing I was worried about was getting headbutt, uh-huh. <laughs> but uh, but um, but like just watching that fight, I was like, "Yo, Jake is Jake can be that guy. Like he can be that dude, you know. Like he he what every uh, uh Carlos Felipe split decision, you know. Like all his fights were either unanimous or split decision. His losses at heavyweight, you know what I mean. So that just showed that he definitely belonged in this uh in this you know um. Uh, in our heavyweight category, and then on top of that, he had the cardio. He's got this. He's got that to do it. So beating him, yeah, it was very. It was like, yeah, okay, I, I still belong. Like you know what I mean? Like you know, because that Boudet loss, you know, you, you, you always question. No matter what, you know, it's always going to be there. But uh, with this win, it, it definitely helped rebuild that uh, that 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 uh, just in, encouragement that 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 itch that you need, you know, to to, to push forward and keep moving, you know. So. Um, yeah, yeah, I would say this this was a this was a big one. This was a big one for me. And what happened in the last camp? Uh that that was the camp where uh where my, my wife had passed away. So like literally um from February eighth until um what was it? April, no, I'm I'm sorry, until May, May 10th. Um that, that was pretty much the whole camp, right? Uh we were in the hospital. So from February eighth until May something she was in the hospital, right? And um, that entire camp, I was maybe getting like an hour a day of training. And then I had to be at the hospital because we didn't know what was going on. She uh, ended up passing away from uh, encephalitis. And they called me 30 hours before the fight and was like, hey, you're going to have to make a decision when you get back. And I was like, yeah, what do you mean? You know what I mean? Like, uh, what, what, like, what are you talking about? Before we left, you know, there were signs of, you know, the, the the stuff, the medicine that they were having to give her had went down, the plasma treatments that they had to do and this and that. Like there was, it was a whole, I don't know if you ever seen the movie Brain on Fire uh-huh. um, with, um, oh my God, her name. Uh, she was in that movie Kick-Ass. Uh, she's like, I think her name's like Hit Girl in Kick-Ass. Uh, but um, she did a movie called Brain on Fire, which uh, like is like the study or it shows like what encephalitis is pretty much in that movie to a T. Like if you can imagine that, that's, what we were going through, you know, like just like seizures and just random randomness, you know, so there was zero, really zero training time to put in for a Martin Boudet, you know what I mean? That's that, that guy's no pushover, you know, so what I needed to do, I wasn't able to do, you know, but I also, I was obligated because I signed that contract before this happened. And like, you know, I tried to explain it before I get 
people, you know, that that's something that, you know, I should pull out. Actually, Dana, that's one reason why to this day he called me um after the fact and found out he 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 damn near cussed me out and was like, why would you take that fight? Like, why did you do that? You know, and that the that was crazy, you know what I mean? To get that phone call from him, you know, like because he didn't have to do that, you know what I mean? And he went through several people to find me, you know what I mean? So which was crazy because you know, like again, Dana White, he could have been doing anything else, you know, sent sent the letter, send it, you know, or, or whatever, you know what I mean? But he he personally called me and was like, dude, you you don't do stuff like that, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like you 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 let us know this is going on, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, I signed the contract. I had the obligation. I, I'm not gonna be that person, you know, I understand mentally there was no way I wasn't there in that fight at all. I can sit here and tell you right now that but again, not to take anything away from Boudet, he did what he was supposed to do. Like even if you take away the, the illegal elbow, he was still up in those rounds. Like, you know what I mean? I'm never gonna be the person to sit here and make excuses for what I should have done, like, you know, type thing. Like, so, um, but yeah, during the, during that that last camp, there was no, it wasn't a camp. Like that whole that whole thing was just me trying to understand and trying to figure out, you know. So it and then with the with my kids, that was the worst part of it because they saw mommy go into the hospital February. They didn't get to see her until like uh, Mother's Day. Like, uh, fortunately, like we um, we sent her to the hospice around um, Mother's Day, but she was able to you know push on through. So they were able to at least go up there and see her, you know, say their goodbyes and whatnot. But um. But yeah, dude, like they're so good now. And that's why I contribute everything to the fans and my family. Like if I didn't have the tight circle I had, I who are we? Ain't no telling. Like I wouldn't have been able to take this last fight had I not been able to go back and lean on what I have, you know what I mean, as my tribe, you know what I mean? And that that's fans and friends and, and family, you know. But uh, but yeah, dude, like that's why this last camp was so much better. I linked up with the with the Lima brothers and stuff. You know, I was up at ATT Lima, uh, which is not too far from here. And then me and my brother meshed back uh, back again to, to get the Taekwondo aspect, to get that cardio up. And you know, so uh, that's that uh, Barnett Taekwondo. You know, so um, yeah, that that last camp was there. There's nothing. There's nothing ever in a camp that can go that wrong <laughs> again for me. That's why the accident happened. I was like. Pfft. This that's nothing. Right. A deer hit me. Oh yeah. <laughs> I wish it would. You know what I mean? Type thing. I literally people were like, Oh man, you good? I was like, why are you laughing? I was like, I don't think you understand, y'all. You don't know what I went through this last right. camp. This is a joke in comparison to 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 that. Chris, I, I I'm so sorry. Um I, like no, you good, man. <laughs> I, I honestly can, can I be honest? Like I, I could lie right now. I did not know about that. I did not know you lost your wife. I am incredibly sorry. Um, yeah, I, no, I, man, it, it, hey, it's, it's life, man. It's life. Like, how are you like, doing? How, how are you doing? Good now. <laughs> not to say <laughs> good now, now. Uh, like it, it's, I've got, again, like I was saying, I have that, that tribe, those people, you know, I have the, that, that community. I have these, these fans, like I could sit here and show you the messages I got actually the night, uh, two nights ago, two nights ago, literally after the fight. This guy messaged me. He was like, man, I just want to let you know your story so much to me. I lost my, uh, he said he lost his wife also. Um, when was it? His was July. His was July. And for at least 30 minutes, I'm in the hospital just talking to him. Wow. Talking him through it. Like, yo, I understand this and that. Uh, I wish I could find his name. But yeah, like he he's. We're just sitting there talking. This is after I just beat Jake. I'm, I'm like, I'm getting, my phone is literally. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, no, this is important because I understand, you know. But uh, but yeah, man, like I'm, I'm ten times better than what I than I was because my kids are great. You know okay. I mean? And I contribute that to everything and everybody around, dude. Just being there for me, you know. Like I can't put words what it means, you know. You have people helping you? Yeah, like uh between um people that help me set up like uh like everything. Uh my homeboy uh Ben, Ben Stevens, his wife, uh Lauren Stevens, they they run like my my uh emails and, and social media and stuff. Like so if I don't get you, they get you, and then it gets back to me. Then we, you know, then we keep it rolling. Like for this one, uh, I know we like we had to switch up times. I literally messaged her at like 4:15. Hey, can you set it up on my computer for me, please? Boom. 
she set it up. You know what I mean? So that's what I, I was running late, like a little bit myself, mm-hmm. you know, but, uh, but like, yeah, between them, my mom, you know what I mean? She's big with like, just being able to, to take the kids, you know, when I'm like, Hey, I got to train. Uh, is there any way she's like, just drop them off, baby. You know, I got, them. you know what I mean? So uh, my brother, you know, just, just the whole aspect, like the community alone, like I've got enough people up at, um, at Barnet Taekwondo Academy. If I, if I need it, I could drop the kids off and be like, all right, y'all, y'all got them. Cool. I don't do that. But, <laughs> but like, if I, if need be like, dude, and, and it's crazy, like the, the positivity, you know, it, it just, it was a good feeling to, after all the years in this, to, to feel like you've given everything to get it back, you know? Oh man, you, you deserve it. You deserve it, my man. You okay. deserve all that love. Um, can I ask how many kids do you have? Two. Uh, I don't know if you can see them. Yeah. Balls right here. How old are they? They're beautiful. Uh, just turned nine and seven, actually. So during yeah, that was the thing during this camp. <laughs> so her birthday is August fifteenth. His birthday is September sixth. So he was mad at me because I had to fly out September sixth. But uh. we 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 tore down Chuck E. Cheese for his birthday, and then she had a um. What was it? We went to this horse ranch uh, for her because she she loves horses and she does all the gymnastic stuff on horse. She's over there doing handstands on the horse, and I'm like, oh, okay, baby, hey, you, all right, that's woo, that's a whole horse over there, yeah. uh, you know. What I mean? So uh, it was it was just it was it was great to see that community again for that. Like how many people came out, like the love for them, knowing you know everything that's going on with them, you know. Uh, um what was it august 15th yeah then the six and then my niece uh nova she's born on the first so this whole camp was like birthday parties and training uh, like it was just <laughs> it was just wild you know just uh, just honestly just good vibes overall you know but um but yeah th- th- those are my two my two little uh I-, I call them my little ninjas my little ninjas with me man god bless you i hope you could take some time now to breathe a little bit enjoy this victory i hope your car or you oh, yeah. can get so another we're going to disney world Oh. are you really <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. i owe them that so hopefully like they said december is a good time and then they'll be out of school for that little break sure uh, they don't know so don't tell okay okay, okay but uh but yeah like uh, we've been promising that for like three years so take a little time you know if the pot if the fight pops up uh november look y'all i'm telling you this is this has got 11 days we back at it but uh but even then, like December, I'm literally just laying out for, you know, for them and whatnot. And plus, that's my mom's birthday, and I want to do something big, big, big for her. God bless you, Chris. I wish I could give you a hug right now. You're such a wonderful soul, man. Uh, people like you make MMA uh, worth watching and and uh, make this sport, you know, fun to watch. And uh, it's easy to be a fan of someone like yours. And so my heart goes out to you and your family. I'm happy to hear that I you're in a good it, spot. And uh, I wish you nothing but the best. And and way to rebound on Saturday. That was an incredible, inspiring yes, comeback. <laughs> and the 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 Come celebration. Back. Come and then back you had here, and then you had the two beers, double fisting, man. Well done. Right, yo. <laughs> I needed oxygen, not them beers. I was like, yo, I appreciate it. <sighs> Can somebody get the yeah. beer? <laughs> Beautiful stuff. I felt bad because those are like forty dollar beers, I know, man. I, I know. was like, okay, uh, uh. <laughs> That's how much people love you. Made sure. Man, look, I get it, but don't be wasting $40, man. That's true. Gas to get home, man. Can't be with it. Gas too hot. Uh, much love to you, Chris. Thank you for doing this. I appreciate it. Congratulations, and, and get well soon. Yes, sir. I appreciate it, man. All That'd right. Be easy. Thank you again for having me. Anytime. We'll talk to you soon. There he is, uh, yes, Chris Barnett.